The other night I bought a boat. My wife was furious. I told her I couldn't help myself. There was a sale. Hey kids, Adam here, and today's video is going to be a little bit special. We are going to learn how to read music and then take a piece of sheet music and bring it into Reaper and turn it into a MIDI track. So let's just dive right in. The basics of reading music are notes. So I'll bring up something down here of the different types of notes, and you'll see there's a whole note, which is typically four beats, half note is two beats, quarter note is one beat, eighth note is a half of a beat, sixteenth note is a quarter of a beat and a 30 say don't you'll never get all the way down there just don't worry about that and then the time signature which i'll bring up here again uh most common you're going to see is four four don't worry about that little uh, weird looking thing on the left you don't have to worry about that anyway uh, that'll never come up in music so don't worry about it but four four is important what that means is there's four beats per measure and the quarter note is the note that gets the beat now, if you get into really advanced stuff, you'll get to like six, eight, which means there's six beats per measure, but the eighth note gets a beat, but that's like my advanced class and um, we're not gonna get there today. But for now, quarter note and and four beats to measure. So almost all your rock songs, you know, bum, 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 you know, that's four, four and that kind of thing. Uh, I don't know what song that was, I just wrote it. So maybe, I, don't steal it, I, I just copyrighted that too. But let's, uh, so let's take our newfound knowledge and into Reaper, we'll take a piece of sheet music and we'll, let's do, we'll take a drum part. We'll make it easy so we don't have to actually mess with different notes and we'll turn that into a MIDI track. So uh, let's go. All right, so over here in Reaper on a blank project and let's bring up the sheet music we're going to be looking at. And uh, it's a popular song and, and it's kind of inspired this DAW's name in some ways. Um, I don't want you to be afraid. There's nothing to fear here. But let's take a look at the sheet music. All right. It's a, uh, it's kind of complex. There's a lot going on. Um, you know, the first four measures are going to be easy. Those little block things, that means rests. So, you know, go grab a cup of coffee. Uh, if you're playing this live at the, at the gig, this perfect time to go up to the bar and grab a drink or make a phone call. Or, you know, you have plenty of time before you have to do anything here. Let's, uh, let's turn this into a MIDI track. All right, now the first thing is this song is in 141 beats per measure based on my friend Google. So I'm going to Type that in here, hit enter. Uh, next, I want to scroll in to about there, and I want to select and drag a new selection. And then I want to right click, and I want to do insert virtual instrument on new track. We're going to use Easy Drummer because, I mean, easy. It's easy because it's it's right in the name. Uh, choose Easy Drummer here, hit add. And I want to hit no here because I don't want to spread this all out on multiple tracks. I just do one track. And that's more for the advanced class here. And now we want to find the sound that we want for this piece of sheet music. And this is our cowbell part. Um, no. 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 We're getting there. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. Ah, uh, here we go. What I want to do in Easy Drummer is to go to Details. Go to key, and I want this to make note of this note number, which is number one here. Close out of here. I can go to insert and do new media item because we have a selection and it'll create it across this um, two measures here. And uh, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's only make this one measure. I, I think two measures is more for the advanced class, so one measure. So if we double click on this, it will bring up the what they call a piano roll, and I can hold on control and mouse wheel up and get these numbers bigger. And this is the number you want. And you can actually kind of scroll through there and get all sorts of neat sounds. And go up here and make sure it's on diamond notes for drums. So what we're gonna do then is we're gonna draw in four quarter notes, one for each beat. There's one, there's two, there's three, and there's four. And now we can close this down because that's all we need. And if we play it from the beginning, 
we have our cowbell part. So now all we need to do is if you have this MIDI item highlighted, hit control C, go to the end of it, hit control V. And it'll copy these parts out. And if you if you want I me mean, want to go the whole song, you want to go like a little bit advanced tip. If you hold down control V, it just creates the part to your heart's content. So we'll go back to the beginning, we play it. I think this is our finished project product here. And you guys can sing along anytime you want. All right, there you have it. Crash course in reading sheet music and turning that music into a MIDI file in Reaper using Easy Drummer. Hope this video helped. Um, maybe we'll do a more advanced class, maybe next year at this time. Uh, maybe not. If you like what you see here, like, comment, subscribe. Leave me a, uh, a comment on how much you love this type of video. And uh, if you want to support me a little further, there's a link down below to buy me a Coke. Until next time, have an amazing start of your month. Thank you.